All right, this video is going to show you how to set up tabs. So what I've done is typed up like a little pricing thing here. And if I go to the type menu and I show the hidden characters, you can see that I have pressed tab. That's what's indicated here by these double arrows. So I've typed a word, pressed tab, put the pricing, but I want my prices to line up. So I'm going to open up my tabs panel, which is located under the type menu. Go to tabs. Now, if the tab panel is down here and small, you can stretch it out. But what you want to do is you want it to match the page dimension. So if I take this tab panel, move it up to the top of the page, make sure the text box is selected, and then I hit the little magnet icon, it will snap in. And it's showing you the little black um, triangles here are where your margins are. So you've got your left margin and your right margin. And take that out for right now. Um, we have left aligned tabs, center aligned tabs, right aligned tabs, and decimals. And we're going to just use a right aligned tab so all of our numbers line up. So with that right uh, justified tab selected, you can drop it wherever you want. You don't actually drop it on the menu, you go above the menu. So not where your icon is a hand, but an arrow. And there I've lined up my tabs. I can take this tab, I can move it wherever I want it. If I want to remove the tab, I just grab the tab and pull it off. So again, I'm going to drop one in and then just eyeball it, position it where I want it. So if I want some kind of a separator between my text, let me turn this uh, hidden characters off, between my text and my prices, for example, like shirt dot dot dot, I go into the leader box and whatever you type in here, whatever character is what's going to show in that tabbed area. So if I want dots, I just type the period key once and I'm going to press my tab key to just get out of this box. And you can see in here it's dropped in all the dots. If I change the dot leader to something else, for example, a dash, tab out of it so it can process. So you can do whatever you want, but typically for things like this you could do a dot leader. And that's tabs.